Hey y'all, I am back on my bullshit, and today I have a new vegan nut job to examine with y'all. So let's get started on juicing jewels. So she has an Instagram, she has a YouTube, she seems to be, you know, like a lot of the raw vegan family channels trying to make a living off of exploiting her child and starving herself on camera. And, you know, like most of these women, adding another child to the mix is great fodder, um, you know, because people love to see people behaving badly and people hurting other people. Like when there's a car accident, people stop and stare. And the same thing goes when there's a pregnant woman who is like literally starving herself, but also showing off her baby bump. Morbid curiosity. She says, this was me one year ago. Wow, 20 pounds of poop out of my body. A lifetime's worth of fake food, residue clogging my gut. This is the way I looked before my eight month juice fast. I was never overweight. Can you imagine I had that much poop as a vegan, raw vegan for the last four years? Humanity is so sick. Well, I mean you, Jules, you are so sick. I believe anorectic is the term. Don't get down about it, do something about it. Sign up for a juice fast with me and change your life. My main struggle was addiction at this time. I was still drinking a lot of red wine because of trauma with my family. I had panic attacks. AKA, I was living with my family because I couldn't support myself and I didn't like being held accountable as an adult. So I drank myself to sleep every day. In fact, I had unnecessary anxiety all of the time, all of my life. Wow. Quite a claim. Quite a claim. In two more months, I will have been juice fasting the majority of this last year. I probably had less than 30 actual meals this year, whereas most people eat this within a week and a half. Juice fasting is my lifestyle. I got weighed down here and there by people who hadn't, haven't been here's opinions, but the truth is I'm still healing. I did a lot of damage in my younger years. That's it. This is the path to paradise. I'm so glad because I've never felt so good even as a child. Now this kind of life in the light is possible for me. Cheers to my high liquidarian and from now on always fruitarian lifestyle. I am blessed beyond my wildest dreams to live this way and to know the great to know the greatest secret of 2022. We are frugivores. Uh -huh. So let's just replace a couple words here. Okay, because this to me screams Edie. This screams Anna. This doesn't scream healthy. In two more months, I will have been starving myself the majority of this last year. I've probably had less than 30 actual meals this year, whereas most people eat this within a week and a half. Starvation is my lifestyle. I got weighed down here and there by people who haven't been here's opinions, but the truth is I'm still hurting myself. I did a lot of damage in my younger years. This is it. This is the path to true self-destruction. I'm so glad because I've never felt so good even as a child, which people who self-harm, like eating, you know, EDs are self-harm, they do feel good when they are harming themselves the most. That's when they feel the best. Now this kind of life in the light is possible for me. Cheers to my low food and from now on always just fruit diet. I am blessed beyond my wildest dreams to live this way and subject my child to it. 
I will brag about being a frugivore while posting my child because I like the attention I get from worrying people. Which, yeah, she has a child. She has a little girl who is three years old and she has imposed this lifestyle on her for her entire life and is currently still breastfeeding her while being six months pregnant. Which her pregnancy doesn't seem to be going very well. She says that uh, she's been crying on the couch for an entire week, which she says that's real life pregnancy, but I don't remember that being a part of mine and I don't think that's like a common thing, really. And she says here that she did the bare minimum at her workout and it still really hurt her. And then she shames herself for having had a hard time with the workout. And then she advertises that she is going to go to the sauna while pregnant, which is not good for prenatal health. Um, some studies suggest that using saunas and hot tubs early in pregnancy, especially for long periods of time, is associated with birth defects. Your core body temperature rises when you use saunas and hot tubs. And the American Academy of Pediatrics and the American College of Obstetric Obstetricians and Gynecologists suggest using a sauna for no more than 15 minutes and using a hot tub for more, no more than 10 minutes when you're pregnant. But, um, of course she doesn't care about that. She likes to advertise how poorly she is treating herself and her unborn baby and get the views from it. And I think that, you know, she has Munchausen's by proxy. She truly is sicker than a lot of the fruitarian parents that I have seen. Which is saying something. She's like the borderline personality disorder fruitarian mom. You know, like scary mom. She talks a lot about how she needs to not let her body get backed up, saying it's for energy for baby, but by backed up she means having any digestive waste in your system at all, which it takes time for your body to digest things. You're not supposed to have a completely clear digestive system, you know, because you're supposed to eat multiple times a day. And that's a very common preoccupation with people with EDs is that they don't like having fecal matter in them, they like to feel pure. You know, knowing that they have cleared out, which is just really not healthy for a developing fetus. And then a lot of people who are fertarian and pregnant will say that they feel better than they ever have before. Um, Tina from Fit Shorty Eats, she said that she loves being pregnant. It's the best she's ever felt. And, you know, that's a common thing that we hear from people who are fruitarian and pregnant, but not Jules here. She is making it very clear that she is exhausted, which, you know, if she was getting the nutrients she needed, why would she be exhausted? So this is probably the scariest part. I believe you can have a healthy breatharian or fruitarian pregnancy. So breatharian is simply you just don't fucking eat at all. You live off of energy waves from the sun. My body was not efficient enough for this. My mind was not interested in this. This was not a path, but I do think it's amazing for those that do it. Starving yourself, being anorexic while you are pregnant is a legitimate disorder. Some women develop pregorexia which is what it's called, um, because they, you know, they feel bad about the weight they are gaining being pregnant. And it seems to me like she has pregorexia, but she also has like Munchausen's by proxy disorder. So she wants you to know that she's doing it to the baby. It's not enough to just like, be like, oh, I don't like how I'm getting bigger. So I'm going to eat less. I'm going to clear out more. I'm going to go to the sauna to like sweat off more pounds. 
she's got to be like, yeah, man, I wish that I could just like not eat at all while being pregnant. And the fact that anyone thinks this is healthy is just, you know, there are people with untreated mental health disorders. It's just a fact. This is obviously one of them. She says, I will, I will however, be playing around with my diet now that I'm four months into my pregnancy. So that was two months ago. So before the crying and the totally exhausted, which I'm sure has nothing to do with her playing around with her diet and uh, juice fasting while pregnant. Nothing. Sure, sure it has nothing to do with it. I will keep you all updated. Of course you will. Because don't we all want to see her harm her fetus? Stay tuned to join the team challenge with me next week. No, I won't. And then this disgusting shit, which just like screams borderline personality disorder to the max. I'm so excited to finally have our baby. Robbie and I got pregnant seven years ago, but I was an addict then and I miscarried at six weeks. This sent me on a downward spiral and I left the relationship. We've been on a separation phase for seven years. I missed you every day. So that dude who she had, like in her Dr. Phil video acting like, oh, this is just my family, this is my partner, this is my child. This is not her partner. He's very new in the picture. He's been around about as long as it took to get her pregnant, honestly. He's been around less than a year and she's six months pregnant. So that tells you all you need to know about him. He is not the father of her daughter. More posts about how she's exhausted while on a juice diet and pregnant. More reason why, you know, you should eat food while you're pregnant. And then this is just stupid. So it says three weeks ago, today after the sauna, I find out if it's a boy or a girl. But then she says, two weeks ago, 24 weeks, and I haven't been in for a checkup in over 12 weeks. Okay. You haven't been in for a checkup in 12 weeks. But you found out last week that it's a girl, and you found out after sauna. What did you do? Did you go have someone like swing a ring over your belly and see if it went in circles or went in a straight line like what the fuck <laughs> she don't know what it is she didn't get an actual ultrasound and then here's the concerning bit you know as we would anticipate what happened in pregorexia in the third trimester been pretty uncomfortable the last six days i haven't been able to eat much which is a huge change because of her massive growth this week. I just feel like I ate a massive ball, a big baby, and I have to admit I'm a bit uncomfortable now. It's best if I can lean back when I sit down. And she just like looks like an Auschwitz victim who's pregnant. So, of course she's gonna have a home birth. And then, again, like I said, she's breastfeeding her other child still three years old looks like she's a year and a half so definitely growth delayed and it's no wonder when breastfeeding journey on 165 day juice fast yeah she's not getting any nutrients she's on a fruitarian diet so the main nutrients she would be getting are from her mother's breast milk but her mother's breast milk is well water basically and then just to make sure that we know that the new kid will not be eating any better than her current kid and actually will probably be doing worse. Can't wait to breastfeed two babies. I plan to start a long juice fast when baby number two is older than six weeks. Of course you do. Because nothing says supporting enough calories and energy to sustain two breastfeeding children like going on a long starvation fast. All right, guys, let me know what you think about this lady in the comments. I think she's way worse than Fish Forty Eats, like for real. I think she's worse than Danielle Sierra because at least Danielle Sierra doesn't have children. 
this is just a whole different kind of crazy to me. Please like, sub, and share if you haven't already. Please and thank you. Bye.